Hey, what's up, YouTube? We are here with another video of a review series. This is the Target exclusive Cobb Banth and Cad Bane 2 pack from Target. And I've got uh, a lot to say. I've been trying to make this video forever. So if this box looks really beat up and damaged, it's not because uh, Target shipped it to me that way. You guys know that I picked this up from a friend at the last toy show. They got it for me at Target. It's because I have been carrying this thing around for, for quite a while, trying to make a video, reviewing this, unboxing this. But life has just been getting in the way and other more interesting videos have been getting in the way. So I'm excited to finally knock this out. I am on a business trip on, on day two of cutting back on caffeine. You guys haven't seen day one. I'll post day one tomorrow because that's really fun. But it's been kind of tough. But we're going to get through. We're going to do this. All right, so this retails for about $56, and I've seen plenty of them in the stores on the shelves since then. Uh, honestly, I feel kind of bad that I asked my pal if he saw one of these to pick one up for me because I have seen a bajillion of them since then, and also the Luke Skywalker Target exclusive. And also, uh, yesterday I saw about a bajillion of the um, Walmart exclusives. So it's this is, I wouldn't consider this rare at all. You can still get, you can't get this off the website anymore. It still is in stores, but it's actually going for about retail on eBay right now. So if you really are about this, then it is still available. This is a great time to get it without paying like a huge aftermarket price. All right, so this box, and I will open it in just a second, comes with uh, Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane, and it's a dual pack. And you know, you guys, you know, I, I complain a lot about the absolute state of the toy industry a lot, and this is one of those times I'm definitely going to complain because I don't think this should have been any kind of exclusive or anything. I think this two-pack should have been a mainline if Disney had been serious about making a show that appealed to kids, which I feel like there is no show that they made that could appeal to kids better in the past couple years other than Baby Yoda, um, aside from Book of Boba Fett with the Baby Rancor and all this and that. Um, but there's obviously some kind of problem with the marketing and development over at Lucasfilm, so they don't take advantage of these kinds of things. They didn't know, they never tried to market that show to kids at all. And perhaps that was because they originally wanted to do like a darker, more, uh, like a darker show with a higher rating, but it didn't turn out like that, did it? So they really should have readjusted their goals. But anyway, it's Lucasfilm, what can you expect? Anyway, this, so I just think that kids would have had a lot of fun with a dual pack that had these two characters in it. Anyway, we have Cobb Vanth without the Fett armor, which is new, and a lot of people, um, I've seen reviews of this, so I know that his shirt is textured, and a lot of people really like that. And I've also seen upgrades where they have removed this plastic scarf, and or bandana, and replaced it with a soft good one. But this is one of the, I, I really am not a fan of soft goods. I'm really not. I really think that a lot of times soft goods can be a cheap shortcut. For example, if we look at Cobb, uh, Cad Bane's leather, leather jacket, it's not soft goods and it looks pretty good. I just think that so you cannot create photorealistic details for the most part using soft goods. My biggest complaint about Cad Bane is his hat. I think his hat was made way too small. But other than that, I think it's great. And he does have that. Okay, so there's another Cad Bane coming out next year that's also Book of Boba Fett. Of course, like, let's wait a whole entire, over a year after the show comes out to release the figure. That makes sense. But anyway, so there's another one coming out. And the difference is that, the main difference is the facial expressions. And that one sort of has a scowl. And this one sort of has kind of like a, a creepy smile. And he does make that face in the show. And I will... I'll throw it up so you guys can see a comparison, but it is a but that is an expression that he makes in the show, so that's kind of cool. All right, so now I will open these off camera because you guys know it's going to be so loud and crinkly in there. I will show you guys what the inside of the box looks like real quick. So they did put the accessories at the top of the box this time, which is kind of interesting. I haven't seen that yet. And here's the inside of the box, and of course, as usual, we have tons of wasted space. You've got to save the trees, got to save the environment. Tons of tons of space. Hey, at least they, you know what? I'll give it to them. At least they, that some engineer was like, "Why don't we make this part, you know, something that could just pop out the box?" That was pretty good. But um, yeah, that's tons of that's so much wasted space. Ridiculous. 
So I was excited about this two pack because I was looking forward to getting a book of Boba Fett Cad Bane in hand. And I don't, I didn't have any problems with the design of, of uh, Cad Bane and Book of Boba Fett. I thought it was actually a really great design. I thought it was really scary, actually. I thought it was good. Um, this figure looks like shit. <laughs> it's, uh, it's terrible. Uh, I do like the, like the, the expression doesn't bother me. The hat bothers me. The hat is so tiny, but, um, the coat is, has no painted details on it. The I mean, it's literally, the body is like the worst paint ever. It's, it's, it's just really bland and it could do with probably a full repaint. I'm going to see what the other one looks like though, because, um, I mean, of course I like those ammo boots. <laughs> the gauntlets are the, probably the weirdest because there's some kind of, I've never seen this in black series. Has anyone else ever seen this in black series? I've never seen this. It's almost like a. It's almost, it's not transparent plastic, but it's like a blue plastic with a glitter finish, almost. Uh, very, very weird. I've never seen this before in any Black Series figure. So has anyone else ever seen this this uh, plastic utilized in a Black Series figure? It's very interesting. It's probably the most interesting, but also the weirdest thing about this figure. There's his breathing apparatus, and we'll see at the end if they're freestanding. Let's look at let's look at uh, Cobb Vanth. Once again, please forgive me for my psoriasis hands. Anyway, so I can see why a lot more people were excited for Cobb Vanth. Cobb Vanth does look a little bit better, in my opinion, than Cad Bane, and I also I do like this texture on the shirt. I think that's really nice that they went that they went that route. That's really great. And uh, I like this bandana. I would never replace that with soft goods, but I can understand why somebody who's really into soft goods would want to. Uh, he has this belt that is loose, so you can kind of move it around with this gun holster. And he's got a lot of details in his pants. And I feel like the colors are pretty good. And I feel like the paint job on the face is decent. It actually looks better to me than what is on the box. And we'll do a little comparison real quick. You guys tell me, does this face on the box, and I know this is a prototype, but look at that face, and then look at this face. So here we go, we have both figures. They're both very easily freestanding uh, quality figures. And their accessories, I was gonna drag all their accessories out of these little wax bags. I already dragged Cad Bane's hat out, but I'm traveling for work this week. And I don't really want to take the accessories out of the bags. I actually almost the other day threw away Wrecker's knife. But I was like looking at the figure and he has that knife sheath on his leg. And I was like, no, wait a second. And so I looked through the box and sure enough, there was one of those little wax packets with the knife in it. And the knife was painted differently than the knife in the other figure. So I hate I didn't get to show you guys that, but I didn't think about it. I'm not gonna drag these accessories out. They're all blasters with blaster effects, which is kind of cool because I'm sure they might be interchangeable with other weapons. So you got some firepower there. And overall, uh, I think Cad Bane could have been better, but honestly, like he's, as I stared at him longer, he's starting to grow on me. I think it was, I, when I first took him out of the box, it kind of looked like his suit was the same color as his coats and there wasn't a lot of variation. But now that I see him uh, a little bit differently in the better lighting, then I think he looks he looks great and I also like his belt and I also I really like those ammo the ammo <laughs> boots uh the guidelines are a little weird I've just never seen that plastic before and I, I you know I would never repaint it because it's so weird and unique I wonder if we'll start seeing that more if there was just something specific they did for the book of Boba Fett because of his because his gauntlets are kind of blue I guess I never thought of them being blue uh, but I guess they, you know, I guess like in his old age, he decided like my blasters need to match my skin. I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, so that's the uh, Book of Boba Fett Target exclusive two pack of Cobb Vanth with no armor and old man Cad Bane. He shot the sheriff. He also shot the deputy. If you have any uh, opinions, let me know below. Please like and subscribe. We're on the road to 50 subscribers. We're only like 15 away. So Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.